From an individual standpoint, I feel much more fresh, um, recharge the batteries, get them back to neutral, and, uh, and now I think we're all ready to go. So looking forward to this practice today, believe it or not, and we'll get it going. Mike was talking about how he saw maybe in the last week or two before the bye that team speed was slowing down a little mm -hmm. bit. Wondering if I mean, know, I know offensive here. linemen aren't generally asked to be too well, speedy, but is it something? I like that's really generalizing. <laughs> Is we got some fast guys. Is it something that you noticed uh, uh, as well? No, I mean, from a general overview, I don't watch re receiver speed or running back speed or anything like that. Um, but Mike, uh, Mike, Coach Rabel did bring that up uh, a few times in the last couple of weeks. So for us, um, I like this bye week was it was we were ready for it, ready for it, and uh, now I think everybody's ready to come back and, and go on the stretch. What you and Saffold awesome. down the stretch over well, the last couple games before the bye, you guys really seem to hit a groove. How do you kind of have that skip over the bye and into this week? I mean, the stretch was four days, you know? So we were here till Wednesday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we practiced on Monday. It's not like everything just goes out the window. So for us, uh, just continue to keep improving every single week. And uh, just more generic answers after another for you on that, because that's what the hell it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to be great in our combos. Compliment each other in a run to pass game, and we'll continue to do that. Thank you. Well, I mean, you know, we're capable of winning games and we're capable of losing games. It's just a matter of what we decide to do on Sunday. So, I mean, guys need to prepare this week. Um, this Jacksonville team, they haven't had the success they wanted to, but they, they have a great front seven. Uh, they have guys that play hard, and uh, I think the direction of that team is on its way up. And they, they played teams really well, obviously, against the Bills. They had a great game, defensively especially. And so we, we you can't just walk in on these games and expect to be successful. So I think um, it's one game at a time and take care of that. Coach Rabel, <laughs> Coach Rabel said the season's just getting started right now and emphasized <laughs> how important it is to play your best in December, January. What does he mean by that? Did he talk to you guys about that? You know, I think a lot of that pertains to guys that were in college last year. You know, the season's ended for them now, and now guys are doing bowl practices and all that. And for us, it's for it's just getting started from the standpoint of, you know, we have the regular season, these last five games, and we have ambitions of going to the uh, the playoffs. So um, it's about guys taking care of their bodies and not hitting that rookie wall or that second year, third year, really like staying into taking care of their bodies, making sure they're prepared on game day because it's a long season. And they switched off and added a little game on us too. So we have, a, it's extra long this year. You guys are probably much. screening the most and the best that you have since you've been here, maybe ever. Sure. You, you like getting out in front of that? It, it lets you show off. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of those screens I'm, I'm not out in. A lot of, the, I think the interior guys are for the most part. Um, I've been out in a few and I've always enjoyed running screens. I've always liked being out in the open field. I think it's a, it's a strength of mine in the in, from my toolbox, and so I, I do really enjoy that. How much work goes into practice in that time and the whole thing? Up? Yeah. It was a big point of emphasis this off season because our screen games were very lackluster in the last few years, and to get that going um, in the phases of complementary football on the offensive side, that's really important to do. To have that as a change up uh, in certain situations. What was your experience in Ann Arbor? I wasn't in Ann Arbor. Not Ann Arbor, but for the, uh, for the Michigan. Indianapolis. I I showed up for the game. Um, Sidelines, dapped up some offensive linemen. Uh, saw a couple guys. I mean, I don't know any of those guys really personally. I've talked to a few of them, uh, whether it's been DMs or if they had questions about uh, their future and what the process is like, combine and all that. And then um, I stayed till about the third quarter and boogied out of there. I need to get some sleep because we got five games coming up. You know what I'm saying? That bye week goes a lot faster than you think. How rewarding. See them, you know, get yeah, they have a culture that I really wish I, I was able to play for when I was at Michigan. The the how they get after it, um, the way they play, um, it's all it's. I'm super happy for their success. I just wish, um, you know, I was able to experience that when I was at Michigan.